Hello, my lovely students. Welcome to Korean Literary. My name is Cherry, and I lived in the USA for nine months as a Korean language teacher in the University of Notre Dame. Today, I'm going to talk about what's expensive and not expensive in the United States from the perspective of Korean. Whether you're living in the US or in Korea, or if you're planning to visit the US or Korea, this video would be interesting for you. So there are five things that are expensive in the US. First thing, hair salon cut. A lot of my Korean friends, they decided not to do hair cut in the USA because of the high price of the hair cut. 2만원 in Korea, but it's like over 5만원 in the US. If you want to get hair cut done, you have to pay more than like $40 or even $50. So it's insane. <laughs> I don't understand why it's that expensive in the USA. Isn't it shocking for you? You can do it by $10 or even like $8 in Korea. However, you have to pay more than $20, $30, and $40 in the USA to get same haircut done. And number two, home rent or dorm rent. How do you pay for your home or your dorm? Do you remember? So when I lived in the USA, I lived in the Indiana state and I lived in the dormitory of the university campus dorm. I paid $710 every month, even though I was living with my roommate. $710 would be understandable. However, $710 when I'm living with my roommate, this is very, very expensive for me. In Korea, university campus dorms are usually very cheap. For example, I go to Seoul National University grad school and there they have grad school dorms and they are usually like 30만원 it's like $250 if it's expensive it might be like $400 but it's not $700 definitely however what's good for American campus dorms is that they have separate rooms and separate beds like separate spaces mostly in korean dorms the beds are together like one person's bed here and one person other person's bed here so you're basically sharing one space that's why we pay less and for home rent so if you want single or like studio it might be like so basically if you want to rent a studio or a single room it might be like four hundred dollars it's not that expensive compared to the US. And number three, tuition, educational fee. So I was really, really shocked when I was living in Indiana. I was working in the University of Notre Dame and I was so shocked by their tuition. Their tuition is really insane. Do you remember how much did you pay for your educational like tuition? So Notre Dame tuition is $60,300. Is this for a year? It's really, really insane. Or is this for four years? So I said I go to SNU grad school. My tuition for the grad school of Seoul National University is like $2,000 for per semester. 2000 so i will be there for two years so it will be four semesters so it means it will be eight thousand dollars for whole my master degree however if you're doing your master degree in the usa the average cost of a master's degree for indian students in the us is between thirty thousand and <laughs> one hundred twenty thousand. I think this is really, really, really insane. So um, competition for education is really severe in Korea. However, compared to the USA, the tuition fee is low, which is very, very, very great for me and for our Korean people. So I want to ask you, how do you manage all these tuition fees? How? How do you go to university? How do you go to school? I mean, maybe you earn money more than Korean people, right? Like I was always thinking like, oh, so the students who are studying in this university are all richest or richest children? I couldn't be able to go to this kind of university paying this amount of money. And I think in Korea, a lot of people would not be able to do the same thing. And number four, this is so expensive. This is parking lot. 
So I traveled to Chicago for several times and it was so interesting. The big city vibes was so great. However, the parking lot was so expensive, which was so shocking for me. For example, four hours, it might be like 2만 원 in Gangnam. It's very expensive for me. I remember that when I visited Chicago, I went to Willis Tower, the skyscraper, and there we were there for like three hours, I think, and we paid for more than $50 for the parking lot. And I was so shocked. How is this possible? What I learned in the USA is that you cannot live without a car in the USA. It can cost around $20 even though you were parking there just for a short time. In some public parking lots like Gongyeong Juchajang, there it's really really cheap in Korea. You can park there for two hours and you can pay just like one dollar or two dollars. So please come to Korea. And number five, what's expensive in the USA is Korean foods in the USA are really really expensive. I think it's reasonable because Korean food in the USA they are foreign foods, not like domestic foods. They are foreign. That's why they are really expensive. It's quite expensive to eat Korean foods in the USA. For example, eating kimbap, which is like $2 or $3 in Korea, would be more than $10 in the USA. I used to say that, wow, I'm so lucky that I can cook Korean food. If you cannot cook Korean food, you have to buy everything, every ingredient or every dishes in the USA and it will cost a lot so it will be really really incredible and from now on I will talk about what's cheap in the USA so these five things are cheap in the USA first avocado I think USA is a paradise for avocado lovers because you can buy a lot of fresh avocados at a lower price than in Korea so my Roommate and I really really love to buy avocados, however, my roommate is from Latin America, Ecuador, and she usually said that avocado in Ecuador is much cheaper, and she said that she has an avocado tree in her hometown. <laughs> But in Korea, avocado is really expensive. It will be like more than $8 for 4 avocados. So it will be like $2 for each avocado. And number 2, what's cheap in the USA is bananas and tropical fruits like mango or figs or other things. Especially in the warm states like Florida or California, the prices of the fruits are really affordable. I was so shocked that watermelon is so cheap in the USA. One watermelon costs like $8, $9 in Korea. However, it was the half of the price in the USA. And also, I really like to eat figs. Muhagwa. Muhagwa were really, 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 really cheap in the USA and really, really delicious. However, in the USA, I found strawberries very undelicious very strange also for fruits i really like to eat cherries in the usa cherry in the usa is really really cheap and mangoes mangoes are really expensive in korea so if you're in the usa you can enjoy fruits as if you're richest in korea and number three what's cheap in the usa flight tickets in the usa throughout the usa so for example when i was living in the indiana i went to san francisco I went to New York, I went to Boston, and it was just wonderful. Like, I could buy flight tickets with affordable prices, no more than like $1,000. However, if you're living in Korea, and if you want to visit like Seattle or other like LA, you have to pay more than $1,000, like $1,200, $1,400. It's just crazy so if you're living in the usa and if you want to go travel inside the usa the flight ticket is amazingly cheap i hope that american people watching this video could appreciate their passport and appreciate their ability to buy flight tickets more cheap and number four watch cheap in the usa is iphone when I was living in the USA, I bought iPhone 15 Pro because iPhone costs lower in the USA than in Korea. 
So when I bought a new iPhone 15 in the USA, my friends, like, they were very jealous of me because they couldn't get the same iPhone 15 in Korea. They released iPhone in the USA first. Some electronics, they cost lower in the United States. Maybe AirPods? I don't know. And the fifth thing that is cheap in the USA, this is vitamins. So when I worked in the Indiana state, I used to go shopping for vitamins. Like the vitamins were really cheap in the USA and more like reliable because Korean people usually they import vitamins from like Amazon or iHerb or something. So I used to buy melatonin, melatonin, which helps you to sleep deeper. I bought a lot of melatonin jellies, something good for women's health, something good for people's health something like vitamin or collagen or fish oil or everything it was very cheap compared to korea and i bought a lot of vitamins to give presents to my friends and my families so that's it for today's discussion about what's expensive and what's cheap in the usa what do you think about it please leave your thoughts on the comments below if you enjoyed this video please like this video and write comments and please subscribe to my channel i usually teach korean language so you can see other videos where i teach the korean language and you can subscribe to me, and you can follow my instagram where i upload korean language content like every day so thank you for watching it was cherry from korea we will see you again bye bye